Now, KWWL Sports. Good evening and welcome into sports. Golfer Nate Lashley came into Saturday's round three of the Rocket Mortgage Classic, leading by six strokes. Lashley, a bit of a new face to the PGA Tour, got one of his biggest victories right here in Waterloo at the Waterloo Open in 2010. It's hard not to root for him as his parents and girlfriend of the time died in a plane crash in 2004 going home from one of his college tournaments. His golf career has stopped and started. He worked as a real estate agent for a little while, but things are going his way this weekend. Inaugural year of the tournament and the first time the PGA Tour has ever been to the city of Detroit. Lashley with the approach on seven has to work underneath the branches and does so. He gets the friendly roll here, ball rolling right past the cup. Don't worry though, he would tap in for birdie. He was 18 under at that point. And then 2018 Masters champion Patrick Reed giving Lashley a little bit of trouble. He sinks the long putt here, gets him three shots within the leader, but Lashley stays locked in after this beautiful shot on 14. He'd tap in for his seventh birdie of the day. He leads JT Boston and the rest of the field by four strokes going into tomorrow's final round. Panther great and Super Bowl 38 champion and Cedar Rapids native Diedrich Ward hosted his 19th annual football camp today in Cedar Rapids. Ward played with five NFL teams during his tenure in the league. And after leaving the Jets in 2000, Ward went on to coach in college and the NFL before winding back up at UNI as a wide receivers coach. Today was day two of the camp and he was keeping an eye on his campers as temps hovered in the 90s. Ward says he sees a little of himself in the kids as he went to camps like this as a boy and now he's happy to be paying it forward. Started the camp to give back to my community but give the kids who were maybe a little less fortunate to have an opportunity to see some NFL guys and some guys who care about kids and uh, just kind of be a positive role model for those kids. Ward and some of his former teammates say they put on the camp for free so that they can reach everyone in the community. And West Marshall and Key playing in a tournament today at Don Bosco High School in Gilbertville and the Hawks having no trouble offensively. Katie Brennan guides this one into right field and Michaela Walliser slides into home to extend the lead for them. Later in the inning, Macy Manning, I love that sports name, and there's an RBI single into left for her. That would put the Hawks up 13-3 and then a great catch on the run by Laura Kolsch to end the game. Key wins big over the West Marshall Trojans, 13-3. In the MLB, Marcus Stroman and the Jays hosting the Royals at Rogers Center. It's the Royals that take the early lead, but Vlad Guerrero Jr. with the frozen rope, ball getting out of here in a hurry, home run to left, taking Homer Bailey yard. That cuts the deficit in half, 2-1 Royals at the time. Fifth inning, Royals lead now 4-1, but it's the other kid with a Hall of Fame dad, Kevin Biggio, son of Craig, takes the lead back for Toronto with one swing of the bat on that grand slam. Royals get even once again, and we're tied at five in the ninth, and the Blue Jays just having fun today. The catcher, Danny Jansen, with a walk-off two-run jack. Royals will now try to split the series, starting with a win tomorrow. And an NL Central clash as the Reds and Cubs do battle at Great American Ballpark. Scoreless in the top of the second, and Jose Iglesias flashing the leather with the diving stop, the quick pop, and the throw. Later in the inning, though, Iglesias cannot get a glove on this one. Jason Hayward leaves the building, and it's 1-0 Cubbies. Hayward with a great all-around game today. Kurt Casilli pokes this one out to right, but Hayward is tracking, gets the grab, and doubles up the runner at first base. Cubs get all the insurance they need from Javier Baez in the eighth inning. Grand Slam makes it 5-0. They add another, and the Reds throw up a donut. Chicago wins 6-0. And beautiful guaranteed rate field, the site of the Twins versus the White Sox. NC Boomstick, Elson Cruz still doing big things. This two-run shot opens the scoring and makes it 2-0 Minnesota. Fifth inning and the Twins still knocking around Ivan Nova. Max Kepler swats this one into the visiting bullpen. And it is 4-1 Minnesota. White Sox would get a little bit going, but the Twins were just too much. Those who stayed the whole game got to see Eloy Jimenez drop his bat for his 14th home run of the year. Twins do get the final laugh, though, winning 10-3. We'll be right back after a short break. <laughs> 